Back to motivating. Back to being motivated, rather. Oh, and it's playing the mem map. Uh, I think this is the mem's new Arabia map. Uh, we have Alfred the Great. Thanks for 100 bits, man. Appreciate it. And how's it going, man? All right, so let's go ahead and turn down this thingy. Roxy, can you just change the title, please, for me? Oh, it already is. Scroll speed's already low. Okay. So I was playing with low scroll speed the whole time. Okay, feel, feels bad. Hera cast Gregasm. Not that good. What's up? Uh, who else am I missing here? Tredix. Hello, man. How's it going? <coughs> Alright, let's go for the cast. So we're just going to fast forward here. Well, it's just a dark age. We didn't miss anything. But it's Liri and Max versus Yo and Lix. <coughs> and Liri is playing in green as Malay. And he's got a really nice map. I mean, he's got both wood lines in the back. And, well, the rest is super open. This is how the map is supposed to be. This is how men made it. You get two good wood lines and the rest... Uh, of your map is really open. Same thing here, two good wood lines, and the rest of your map is open. Um, uh, his teammate is the Max, playing as Indians, and uh, like I said, two wood lines as well. And uh, he's got a decent map here, so walling up golds are at the back, and he can wall up the side as well. Um, Yo, uh, their opponents, one of them is Britons, which is Mr. Yo, and he's walling up. Again, two wood lines, can't stress enough. He's got an easy wall as well. Uh, to the edge of the map. He's got a really nice map. And he's probably going to go for a Drush Fast Castle with Britons as super solid. Seeing Max over the Scout, uh, Stable, and Lix is going for Stable as well. So it's Drush FC and Liri. What's the plan here? Liri is going Drush into Flush. It's uh, early uptime. So pretty much it. The only difference in strategy here is the FC. And I'm going to cast MBL and Nikov's games later. Um, uh, the, the 2v2 tournament? Probably not. Maybe, maybe. I'm not sure. Series, maybe. <laughs> Thank you, Roxy. Okay, so these uh, militia are going around the back. Max spots it. And... He'll be able to defend it here with a spearman quite easily. Only qu only like problem is for them is that Britain's FC is super hard to defend. Although he is still open. He does know it. He's still open. Okay, cool. <laughs> Scouts moving out from Lix now. And Leary's adding his second archer range already. So Drush into archers for Leary. Interesting. Pretty good at with melee though. He'll lose the scout here. Over on this side, Drush is getting cleaned up as well. Yeah, so the Drush is going to get cleaned up on both sides. Um, it's really just what's better, a, a, an FC or a flush now from, uh, from Leary. Let's see. Yeah, Leary didn't have a map to go FC, although I think he would he would prefer that if he did uh, you know, get a good map. Mr. Yo, walling up the sides. And is now adding in an archer range as well. So he is fully walled, he has a great map. Like the scouts aren't going to find too much damage here, so actually they should, what they should do, I think, is just go over to the max. Although he's got a couple of spears himself. Yeah, Leary tells him. <clears throat> Why is Max always getting OP pocket sieves? I don't know, man. Even on 2v2, uh, he gets the beast sieves. Uh, Mr. E was actually Xing uh, where he can attack from, so Lix is going straight there now. But uh, like Max said, he's got a couple spears positioned. He's not really worried uh, about any scouts. He's even keeping a couple scouts defensively. He's now scouting that his opponent's going FC, but he already knew that because of the uptime and the score difference, obviously. What, uh, I think what he should do is try and swing over to Lix, but I mean, did, did they know Lix is fully walled? I don't think so. Levy knows, but they didn't really communicate it. Scout got them, okay. And Levy's going to move out now. <clears throat> How much did Hiccup 2 change your opinion of the max? Uh, I've always thought he was a great player, but I, I don't know he was you know that great on 1v1 as well. Thought of him more of a team game player. Yes. <clears throat> but I, I've always thought he was a great player. Yeah, he's hitting, yes, he's FC. Makes sense. And careful the scouts going back. Uh, Alright, so everyone, thanks for giving a step over to Jaminal. Appreciate that, man. 
and enjoy it, Jamino. Thanks for sharing your music, dude. Jamino's a up and coming rapper, I think. Definitely uh spit in game. Appreciate that sub gift though, thank you so much. And Leary's now moving out to uh Yo, but Yo's already going out across the map. And he is FC. That's a really good time by the way. Sixteen length like, fifteen. With Britain super solid. One range at first, adding the second. He's saying X again, but it's it's super tough. Okay, actually, the nine the range is actually quite good damage for now. If they can break in, uh, he's forcing the scouts back, but the crossbows will uh, continue moving out, and they're not going to find too much damage. But they will force the woodland off. <coughs> Let's see if they can break in here, actually. Mem has by far the best tournament settings in 1990, and ECL outdo his hype to tournament organization, but his uh, for event gameplay, Mem is more. Oh, I kind of agree with that, actually. Um, and I think I find he listens to the pro players and what they want the most. Yeah. Yeah, definitely for top players, Mem's events are have always, at least from the past couple years, have always been great from what I've seen. <laughs> All right, Leary is going back now. He's got plenty of archers. So as soon as Leary has cast this, he's gonna have way more archers than uh, Mr. Yo will have, because Mr. Yo was on one range for a while. But he is uh, on the, like on the plus side for him. He's getting now a second TC already, and already uh, ballistics on the way. So or university on the way. So uh, Mr. Yo is gonna probably pull ahead in Vils. Or at least catch up to Leary, who's on 39 villas because of melee. This guy's moving out. Nixus, what's up? How's it going? They're not going to find too much damage. Although, like, I don't know. I, I would try and dive some. Like, I would just go in and try and find, like, a vill. Off Leary, because these are bloodlines plus one scouts, plus one plus one, so pretty strong. Or he can loop around here and actually try and break in with uh, with Yo. That could be a very good strategy as well. Well, I like what Max is doing. He's actually adding in scouts. Where's his army? Max, Max, Max. Seven military. I don't know where they are though. He's bowling up that side. Okay, he's got a couple scouts. He's gonna actually go for light cavalry. I kind of like that. Most attack the bot on Twitch. Have to agree with that. Hundred percent sure. The rest, nicest person we have on the shots. Probably have to agree with that as well. Definitely one of them. Scars are. What's up, man? How's it going? So yeah, light cavalry is incoming, and that's pretty smart because you know Indians don't get knights, and you need some something to deal with the crossbows. So light cavalry is a great option for that. Even rushing a TC here, it's gonna pay off though. He might lose one villager. If at all, okay, he loses one, but he gets, he's gonna get a really good cleanup here though. And this is two. Okay, well it was I think it's pretty good for Max still cleaning up that army from Yo. Yo is getting a wheelbarrow, plus two for Lix coming in, and crossbow, Bodkin for Leary. So, Leary is pretty much the, the big player in this game right now. He's the strongest one out of all the teams. And he's going straight over to Yo, uh, who's now getting a TC outside to secure that gold, most likely. Some, yeah, right there. Alright, so yeah, Leary, this is the strongest army in the game. We have to keep an eye on that one. Max is going to wall in these scouts, which are now light cav. I'm not sure why he actually invested into light cav. That seems a bit weird to me. Well, he's got three more here. Uh, I don't know. Probably just switch over to knights, right? Oh, Max actually traps him. Well done. Well done. Uh, let's keep an eye on Leary. All players are booming. Let's see his TCs at home. He's actually uh, not getting a university. He's getting two TCs. Oh, no. That's a TC and a university down. Okay. And, yeah, this army's going to be good, but... There's a hole in Levy's base, so these guys are gonna kill at least one vill, probably two vills. That's annoying. Yes. How is there even a hole there, man? Unlucky. Won't <clears throat> be as toxic as me. True. Alright, so now Levy's moving out, but these are Britain crossbows, they outrange him, obviously. 
And so let's see what he does. He has way more army, of course. Alright, knights coming over to help, but I probably prefer the uh, camels at this stage. I don't know, it's tough to call, honestly. Camels are faster though, so they you know they have some potential. Uh, Britain crossbows will be better until Thumbring kicks in, then um, Levy's crossbows in close range will be better. So then you really have to utilize this range. Yeah, once Thumbring kicks in, look at the, like he's starting to get really good trades here. And he's getting it right when he's doing two TCs, Thumbring Ballistics. And now he's able to, you know, do a lot of damage. 60 vils for Yo, yeah, I know, but uh, that's only like 6 vils ahead. He does have the extra TC, so he's booming fine. But he's never going to be on the aggressive this game. He's just going to be defending, uh, which is fine, which is perfectly fine. But hopefully they can find some damage here. Like I said, Thumbring is really a, an important upgrade when it comes to like these these fights, and Britons do lack it. Uh, moving up with more crossbows now. Yeah, coming in with another like 10. If your arch numbers were higher, knights could trade sort of even, but looks good max uh, for max. Yo, what's up, Chad? How's it going? Uh, I kind of have to agree with you uh, on that. I, I just think that Lixer is a bit slow in creating the knights, and his boom, like, why, is he, why does he have tower defense? I don't get that. I don't think he should have been scared of Lyrish Cross. Like, yeah, this is, I feel like this is unnecessary. His boom is really weird. Um, but, I guess he's safe this way. Yes. And Lyrish saying, let's hit my guy, but there are towers now, so that maybe they did pay off. Who knows? We'll see. But these, this is woodline's exposed. Uh, over on Max, he is uh, happily 3TC booming, and this is where Max kind of shines 3TCs and, um, yes. you know, cavalry play. <coughs> Alright, so now, um, Expo and Camel's moving across the map. Luca, why aren't you in the Snapchat group? Good question, Roxy. Why is, at, at Luca, actually. I'm just going to tag Luca here in chat. Verbally tagging Luca. Alright, so the crossbows are coming in. Crossbows and Camel's will be a pretty good force here to pressure. But Lix does have a lot of knights here. I mean, this can... I don't know, I think the Camel's should be enough, but he needs to be careful. Um, Yo's coming over now to defend. Does tower defense have its place in the meta, in your opinion, or is it a sign of a player who messed up or isn't strong enough? Um, I think it's, it has its place, but not really uh, in team games. It's really more of a 1v1 thing to defend. Well, it could, it could come up in team game as well. To defend against Mang and L push, you do like guard tower defense. Other than that, maybe one tower in your goal to defend it if it's forward. But something like this, I don't, I don't think, I think that's just bad. Like, none of the top, top, top players would do this. This is a nice idea. He wants to get a forward siege on a hill. This is the most important hill between him and his opponent. So this is actually a really strong idea. He's got it denied, so he's dropping it defensively. They've got plenty of knights, but uh, Max's boom is better. It's like 10, 10 12 bills up. So yeah, it's, it's quite tough. It's quite tough. If, if Lix and Yo don't do quite some damage right away, I think Indians will start to pull ahead here. What's up, Tech? How's it going? <clears throat> It slows down castles, yeah, that's true as well. And it slows down everything, actually. It slows down your, your boom, because it costs 50 wood each, remember. So that's 375 stone and uh, 150 wood. That's not uh, a cheap investment here for three towers that are doing nothing. Plus the build time and stuff. Yeah, it's just, if it's not going to do anything, it's not worth it. And the reason I'm up in a second here, he's probably going to yeah, balance with the market. And he'll click up. Alright. Where's his main gold? Okay, there it is. He's got the secondary gold in the back. He is three DCs now, for a while I think. And he's saying go explore with the light cap. He wants to see the map. He wants to see where the opponents are. Max is spreading out some houses as well to gain a, a little bit extra vision, and he's moving out to claim these hills. Uh, University coming down, more stables as well. Yo and Liri, the exact same in time. That's actually crazy, uh, with different civs as well. Uh, Yo is up um, yeah, a considerable amount of vills, about ten vills. Uh, Max is on 4 TCs now though, that's pretty good. Uh, Lix is uh, quite far behind I have to say, he's like 15 bills down on, on Max and he's not close to clicking it up in either. He should definitely consider a 4th TC, that being said he already had it I think. 
Not sure why he's so far behind Vils then. But Yo and Lix are now pressuring. Uh, Max. But I think he'll be fine. I don't think they're going to go for the TC because the armies can swing it around easily. <coughs> no worries, Rebellious. Same time. Max Mac was insane. Yeah, I have to agree with that. And yeah, the exact same time. Literally. Not a second off. But actually, that being said, I think the melee will kick in earlier. I think the overlay is bugged. No, never mind. It's not bugged. It took into account. They clicked up later. So yeah, exact same time and with different subs too. That's just really, really insane. And they have a really similar uh, military counts as well. 51 for Liri, 48 for Yo. Pop is 142 each. They're doing exactly the same build. Or not the same build, but they have the exact same like strength right now. That's just crazy. But I have to say that I feel like Britain crossbows are a bit stronger because of the range. And they're actually diving the TC here. That's a good, that's a good, you know... Good play from uh, the Chinese team here. That's a lot of that's a lot of dead bills. I mean, losing a TC like that, losing another bill here, losing five bills, pretty bad. But yeah. if they lose their army because of this, that's not worth it. So they have to really get out of this, you know, little area that they're in. I think what they might do is just camp this hill. Max Stone was behind to prevent them from pushing it further. Really smart play. He will lose a few more bills, but um, this is you know potential cleanup for for Leary who's coming in now. He wants to take the fight. Max should run up on this hill and just patrol. Liri is uh, preparing a mass ramp push, uh, must be noted. Go back to the fights. Yeah, this is the thumb ring though. Thumb ring does kick in in the, in the close range fights. And chemistry for both players as well. This is a good fight for uh, Liri and Max, I believe. Yep. Must be noted that Lix is up to imp a little bit earlier, but that's not going to change too much. Uh, I think it's about even, but yeah, about even. But Liri comes up on top uh, in the end, uh, keeping around like 20 cross was left, 20 R blast re left rather. But that's not a game-ending fight by any means. Uh, I think Yo and Lix did enough damage to justify that loss. And this push is what's interesting now, though, because uh, I don't know if he's got enough knights now to defend this push. R blast rams, castle on the hill coming down as well. The refill count 110. Yo, 110 as well. They're literally neck and neck here. I think that lose that fight. Never mind. Thumbring. Nah, yeah. Thumbring. Yeah, definitely makes a plays a big role. And ooh, Lix actually. Uh, Yo actually slung Lix to try and get to Farimba Cav. Uh, that's actually quite smart because he's gonna get Farimba plus four and Cavalier right away. And well, um, Mr. Yo didn't really need those resources. He already has fully upgraded um, our blast here. Setting up trade as well. This is a this is a really close game. The scores are literally like five apart, always switching as well. I think I prefer Britain's for late game though, honestly. I think Britain's bet are better than Malay in late game. I think that's what it might come down to. But the ramp push is coming. Um, I would like to see Cap Ram though. Not sure why he doesn't have it yet. He is stonewalling the trade though. They're playing super serious. Well, not stonewalling the trade. I guess they're stonewalling the map. Uh, these Cavalier are running straight in, though. Uh, he's going to stop the stonewall. Plenty of Max Camels there to defend, though. Yeah, Yeoman coming in from um, from Mr. Yo. Cavalier plus four. And Caravan. He's not getting Farimba, even though he can afford it. That's quite weird. Oh, no. He already got it. My apologies. He already has Farimba. Okay, cool. He's chilling. Damn, that's a fast upgrade, then. And Leary, what's the plan here? Mining camp or what? No mining camp. He's gonna lose all those bills, and he's actually he's stuck chasing these Britain Arbalest. And if they go into a corner like this, that's so obnoxious. Uh, he's gonna have the Arbalest to chase him down, but Britain with more range can actually just snipe these guys if he wanted to do so. Traps are now in the castle. The Rams are prepared. Masonry done for Leary. I'm not sure why he's not getting cap ram. That was really weird. Seems like he invested. He over invested into the Rams then. If he's not gonna go for a push at this stage. Potato casting, you got that right. What's up, Devari? Actually, I already said hi to you, but uh, yeah, it's definitely potato casting. Leary is trying to uh, stonewall the metal now. Cavalier actually in on Max. Where is his armies? Where's his army numbers? Physic is a bit slow with the camels, or like he doesn't have a lot. Oh no, they here they are. Okay, makes sense. I was like, what the fuck? Where are the camels? Yeah, she had to take the Hazar as well to have something to deal with the Arbalest. Uh, well played from Lix to actually swing over and help take this fight. It should still be good for Max or decent for Max. I'm not sure. 
No, 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 this is good for Yo, 100%. Yeah, this is really good for the Chinese team. And Max is kind of screwed, actually. He cannot keep wasting here, he's got to defend. His pop dropped into 125 now. Uh, Liri is making moves here um, on the castle, although there was a big engagement, he lost the traps for the Cavalier. And here, the Chinese team is pushing. We enjoy my casting. Yo, Guardian Angel, how's it going? I'm glad you enjoy the casting. Uh, Fed Fedezek, how's it going, man? What's up, what's up? Glad you guys are enjoying. The trade is not really set up, it must be noted, for uh, Max and Liri. Whereas for uh, Yo and Lix, it's kind of, you know, getting started a little bit quicker. Uh, already a few trade cards out. It's the small things that could impact the game like that. And Yo, uh, sorry, Lix, with a lot of um, Cavalier, Ferimba Cav, moving right into the uh, middle of, you know, in between Liri and Max. Liri's doing his best to stonewall here. Ooh, and Yo actually slung him some stone. Either to repair or to get another castle. We'll see. But they are raiding Max to death here. And oh, oh no, this is bad. What Max needs to do is like, give him a, a, a gate or something to hide these crossbows. Nah, this is so bad for Liri and Max now. This is this could be a game-ending fight, actually. The crossbows are in. The Cavalier cleared up the crossbows. The crossbows from Yo are going to clear up the camels. The scores are switching quite significantly now. And this is actually looking really good for Yo and Lix now. Trebbing down the TC. Tre Max down to 120 pop. What's Liri's answer to this? I mean, you kill the castle. Yes, he's killing a second castle. It's quite nice, but his his teammate is dying. and Yeah, I don't know. He's saying ask Rez. He needs everything. Let's see how much Liri can give him. He's got a decent amount. Max is saying anything. Uh, I don't know. I, they might be able to hold here, but it is still a really good uh, fight for, or really good sequence of events for Yo and Lix. Seems GG. I have to agree with that, Roxy. I really do. It's quite bad. I, I don't think it's quite over, though. They are they are cleaning up this army, but that was really, really bad for uh, Liri and Max, obviously. And now Max is going to be relying purely on this thing from Liri. And Liri doesn't have that much resources. Like, he's, he's, not, he's not chilling himself. I think they might just call it here. He's, sl he's slinging everything to Max now. I don't know, the scores are still even, boys. I don't want to call it too soon. Maybe Max is trying to find a way back to the game. Um, yeah, Yo and, Yo and Lex, their pop is dropping too. It's, it's, they're trading evenly here, it seems. But it really is going to be whoever gets onto that trade first. Liri and Max actually have more trade cards now. This is doable, this is doable. They just have to hold for the next few minutes. The problem is the Halb's already kicked in for uh, Mr. Yo. Liri, on the other hand, does not have the tech yet. I, th I believe he got Pikeman, though. Uh, okay. But he's just sticking with the Arbalest. He's slinging over uh, Max now. Longbowman switched from Yo incoming. Uh, Longbowman do have better stats than Arbalest, and they have an extra range as well. So it makes a lot of sense to go for these guys. Fremba Cap too strong, though. Oh, Imperial Camels from Indians are actually just as strong, in my opinion. Um, in 2v2s. It does seem right Larry and Max are talking to each other. No, they are not, Senpai. They are actually, you know, typing, which is uh, kind of a disadvantage here. Yeah, I think I, I really think that the Halb switch from um, from Yo is what's winning him the game here. The Halb switch, the Longbow switch is coming in now. Elite Longbow on the way. And a forward cast is coming down to secure the position. Lix, man, Lix has just been playing like a beast in Imp. Uh, got a cast up on the hill to defend, and then he's just sending Farimba Cav straight into uh, Max's base on stop. This is a good fight for uh, uh, for Mr. Yo, for Chinese team, I believe. Like the Halbs in fight will always prevent the Camels from engaging right away. And any, yeah, this is this is just a good fight for uh, for Yo here, I believe, for Yo and uh, Lix. Although. Although, although, I think the Cav might be going too deep here. I don't like this from Lex. Yeah, he's going way too deep. He needs to be careful. All they have to do is camp this castle. Yeah, camp these uh, buildings here from Yo. They don't have to try and push too fast. They just have to chill a little bit. The Longbows have better stats than the Arbalest anyways. Mm, 
Yeah, yeah, as the game goes on, 200 pop from Leary, 200 pop from Yo as well. And the pop is actually even, that even. The trades even as well, this is such a close game. Uh, the only advantage that the Chinese team has is the position. If you take a look at the map, um, blue and red do control about 60-70% of the map. That's the only difference that there is in this game. The rest is about even. Imperial Camel kicked in now. I think they're going to try and look for a fight. Imperial Camel is very strong. Yeah, they can actually clean up everything here, I believe, if they took it. Maybe not under the castle, though. I'm going to need some siege from Max. He's getting a couple traps out now. Really good job holding Max. has done a great job at just not dying here. He even transitioned his boom to the back. He is still on 100 vils. Um, 150 pop total, but he's getting sling from Larry. Mr. Yo is a beast. Yeah, that dude, Mr. Yo has been playing this one really, really solid so far. Uh, I think Lix is not playing the best. Uh, but, yeah, he's kind of a weaker individual player. However, he's playing okay. He's just making some slight uh, decisions that, you know, aren't not the best. You know, taking weird fights and such. Oh, sorry about that. I had to sneeze. I should have to mute my mic. Alright, um... I really think it's the position that's gonna win them the game though. You know, sieging the castle. Every time they try and engage, um, you know, there's a castle with 5k, 8 HP. And just the longbows, as you get to this massive, like 50, 60 longbows, man, they, you cannot engage that ever. Um, especially with a few halves meat shield. I think they might go, I think they're just saying, let's just go take the fight here. Um, they're losing the castle, losing the position. You know, Max recognizes we have to go now. But Mr. Yo's gonna retreat to the castle and try and snipe the Arbalest. Again, Lix is sniping the traps, but he needs to be in front of the longbows. Okay, now he's doing a good job. Yo! Oh, he's repairing the siege shop. Okay. He doesn't have stone for the castle. Fair enough. He actually invested into keep here. Not sure why. Interesting. Uh, trade is fine. How is the game still even? Well, it's like I said, it, it, it looks even like stat-wise, but the position on the map is what's going to win them the game. And uh, it has won the game. I think this game's over now. Yo pulls ahead. Uh, the Longbowman switch, you know, showing, you know, Britons have the advantage over uh, over uh, Malay in the Imp game, Imperial Age. And now we're actually seeing Malian champions, which will actually counter uh, both Arbalest and Halb. So that's a really good tech switch from uh, Mr. Lix. I think Yo should actually send him some longbows though. Liri is trying to push on his side now while just trying to hold on Max's side. Let's see if he's able to do that. If I was Max, if I, was Max I would be pop zero. Yeah, actually same. I, I, like, I don't know how he's managed to keep up his pop to 170, man. Even with the sling, that is really impressive. He's managed to just boom into such a small area. Where is his army? Like, he's got vills everywhere, actually. He's got plenty of army now, though. This is a huge amount of army. They need to try and take a big engagement here, I, I believe. Like, he should just go for it, I think. All his army go right behind the longbows and try and kill them. He's going for it now, but his army is kind of split here. He got debated by Halb, actually. Uh, let's see how well he takes this engagement. Lix is there. Oh, the Rams are distracting Leary's army. But this is still a decent cleanup for Max, I believe. Well, not cleanup, but a good fight at least. Oh, the Rams are tanking so much Arbalest fire. That's really important. And once again, these longbows aren't dying, though. That's the, that's the issue for them here. Every time he takes a fight, uh, Yo just walks right back to the castle. And these longbows never die. Well played from Yo, man. He's playing so well. Um, Niri is trying to push on this side, but I think the champion transition from Lex was just absolutely phenomenal. Even going for heavy camo, werewolf now coming in up, or warwolf, uh, for Yo, which makes the chubs actually do splash damage and makes them, uh, I think more accurate, I believe, yeah, I think more accurate and they do spl splash damage. Yeah, it's over, yeah, I think at this stage, I would say it's 90% chance, not even 95% chance that the Chinese team do win. There is a slight hope if Liri is able to get into the trade in the next few minutes, though. Um, other than that, I don't see it uh, happening. I leave and come back and Liri is playing. Yes, Baskets, what's up, man? When you left, it was just Hera the Pleb playing some 1v1s. Now it's Liri the Beast playing team games. And I'm, I want to join this one uh, later. 
<clears throat> they are doing a phenomenal job holding though, it must be said, man. Like, it's such a tight spot. Another castle going. Five Levy Trebs actually are here. He brought five Trebs over to help defend the siege. That is a dedicated teammate. Well, on this side though, he is getting pushed back though. I think that's the problem here for them. Capram champion, and Lix is pushing all the shit back. And yeah, Leary is now transitioning into long swords, probably into two handed swordsmen with no gold cost, but it's not going to be enough, unfortunately. I think that's a bit little, too little, too late type thing. Send camels to my side, he's saying, but Max did not spare any camels. He's on one, 160 pop now. He slept a racist question. Oh, did I? Oh, for those of us who have never used longbows in a competitive game or don't know much about them, why are they effective in this matchup? Uh, oh, yeah, okay, so basically. Uh, well, it's not that they're effective in this matchup. They're actually always uh, effective. Um, basically, they, they just have better stats than the regular Britain Arbalest. So, Arbalest have six damage. Uh, Longbow have seven. The armor they have one extra pierce armor, which is you know pretty important. And then they have one extra range. Arbalest have five range, if you can see five range, and Longbow have six. So it's just better stats overall. The only downside is that you have to produce them for castles. That's why I usually see them uh, as an imperial age unit and not a uh, castle age unit. Hope that answers your question. Sorry about that. I realized I missed it. But Roxy was there to, you know, keep me in check. These are actually Yeoman Towers, which have way more attack. So, quite interesting that, uh... Well, they're doing fuck all somehow. They're missing every shot. Hello? They haven't hit once. Okay, yeah. They, they chunked the camels, as you can see. There you go. Alright. Uh, on this side, Elix has pretty much pushed everything back. A 200 swords and help combo isn't going to be enough to uh, to defend here though. It's like a lot. 200 swords would kind of suck. I mean, I don't know. They're lacking 10 HP and a, a whole attack uh, and a whole armor as well over the champion. So it's it's not looking good on that side. On this side though, they are pushing back. It must be said. And Max and Lyra are still 200 pop. This game is not over yet. Um, but. Liri is, you know, losing that hill, and Lix is pushing. Makes total sense now, I think. Yeah, I think of it as just like the better Arbalest, but you can't make it too soon because you need the castle, so you just make it in post-imp, pretty much. <coughs> Hero replies always no problem, sometimes he just skips chat. Yes, Roxy, I couldn't have said it better myself. I literally always try to reply, it's just that sometimes I, I miss it. Because uh, I'm reading off a small screen, and... You know, um, it's not my main focus. My main focus is casting. He needs elite, elite cram back. I actually agree with that, but the problem is he lost both his castles on the hill, so he can't switch into that. If I go to Leary's perspective, he's got no castles. Absolutely no castles. So he's kind of stuck on this two-handed swordsman. I don't think he even got the unique tech. They are cleaning this with the, with the help from uh, Max. I believe they're cleaning it. It's an even fight at best. They're holding this side. It's like still holding. But oh, four traps, four werewolf traps, and this castle will probably go down to that. Yeoman Towers pushing on this side. Cap cramps incoming as well. I think what Yo should do, what I would do in Yo's position, is actually try and dive, um, dive in with the longbows and try and hit some trades. Not effective now because he doesn't have the helps to back them up, but it could be uh, an interesting idea here. He's getting pushed back. These Indian camels are super strong, by the way. They even like they, they can even tank the longbows. <clears throat> Chinese team needs one quick push into trade. Yeah, I kind of agree with that, Sir Current. Um, like that's what, like there's kind of like. This is a throw. He lost four trebuchets. The castle didn't even go down. This is a throw. They'd, they're holding on this side. I think Leary and Max actually win this game. Just by being better players. Um, than, or at least Max being a better player than Lix. Like because it, it's stabilizing now. If it does go to Imp, I feel like Max is a better Imp, a better Imp player than Lix is. So that's why I think they might actually have a chance to put, pull this one back. Position still not looking great, but... Plenty of trade. I mean, 62 carts for Leary. That's fucking huge. Um, Max is on 60 as well. Chinese team is lacking like 10, 10 numbers a piece, 10 or 20. Oh boy. Somehow Max has a ton of resources now. Like I don't even know where he got them from.
Mods, please time your ass so I can shut up. Dude, Aurelius, don't worry about it, man. The chat's there to keep it flowing. Trust me, like, the one thing I want as a streamer is always having an active chat. Like, for me, that's the most important thing. Once you get the active chat, the rest will come. You always holding right and Lix push left, so GG soon. Uh, I don't know about that. I mean, Lix's push isn't that strong. It's really just champions, which will die to any, you know, camels that do come over. Oh, you know what there is going for? Elephantos. He is going to go for elephants as Malay. The cheaper elephants, they will do an absolutely great job at dealing with those champions. Uh, and, well, the only counter to that really is for Yo to send his uh, longbowman or his helps to deal with the elephants once they come in. Elite battle elephant coming in. Siege Onager from Lix, though. <laughs> That's a pretty good upgrade. Oh, but yeah, they're back to pushing here. And the werewolf trebs will win every treb war. Hello, Pierre Silver. How's it going, man? What's up? What's up? That's on the way. Yeah, indeed. Mr. You look. I think the problem is when Max helps uh, on left, yo, push again. So close to Jade. Yeah, I actually, I actually agree with that. It's a good point. Um, and actually, oh, this is a really, really good trade push. Oh, this is a huge problem. This might be the game. They were sleeping on this. Yeah, you're right. Uh, Malas called it in the chat. I mean, Max sent his army over to Leary's side, and immediately the Chinese team pushing into the trade. This is why I get smoked and if I get bored and don't want to continue. I mean, um, the, I mean these players, you know, they're experienced. They, they, they know how to play imp game. They know how to grind it out. And with SO now, this close to the trade, killing his own units. Well done there, Lex. They got a double agent on the team. How cool would it be if he just attacked grounds and killed all those longbows? Throws his team in the game. Worth it. Hey, Bron, what's up, man? And I think this might be over here. I mean, you know it's desperate when Max starts making elephant archers to defend. You know it's desperate. And I think this might be game. I mean, the trade numbers are still high. But if this goes on another five minutes, they're going to lose everything. What a treat this is at lunchtime. Yeah, I'm mixing up the stream time. So, Abron, um, my lunchtime is prime time for Europeans. Um, or our lunchtime, rather. So, you know, you get the people can enjoy the stream at different uh, hours. I don't know, man. Like the, this, These uh, few uh, keeps will be really hard to defend. However, Max, is, uh, he didn't lose any pop. He's still at 190 pop. Oh, the trade from Levy is coming in. The Arbalest is slowing them down. Oh my god. He slung 5k resources to Lix. Yo is chilling. Oh my lord. Lix, yo, Lix is rolling in the dough now. Sugar Daddy Yo, man. Holy fuck. He slung 5k resources. Oh, there's a camel in the trade. Actually killing quite a bit. Hopefully they don't lose all the trade to that one camel. And somehow, I don't even know how, Max and Leary are able to somehow defend this. Clearing up now the towers. Leary needs more army on this side of the map, though. I don't know where his army is. Uh, a lot of elephants. Oh, pushing. Oh, okay, Leary. He's actually pushing Lix. Meanwhile, the camels are out to defend, though. Maybe a help switch as well, or continue adding helps from Leary. So Leary is pushing at least a little bit on the other side, and he's holding on this side now. In what case, LA, uh, are, could be uh, elephant archers could be a strong choice. I think they're good against the uh, archers here. I think like he's doing it on purpose here. He's adding them in. They're really good against archers. They have a lot of pierce armor. Uh, when they get elite, they get even more and a lot of HP. So good against archers. They're bad against halberdier though. And what's up, Mooncat the Fox? How's it going, man? <clears throat> yeah, this game's really good, Kern. Like this, this is a really, really good team game. Split from Leary. I don't out of all the ma the macro he's doing, he even manages to split here. Uh, and yeah, Roxy's absolutely right. Libri's level is really, really high. 
but they're so close to the trade. I mean, it must be uncomfortable. The problem is, though, they're not actually walled. They're not walled. So if Theory's somehow able to sneak like 10, 20 Arbalest into here for like 5 minutes, they could lose a lot of trade. It could be a really good move. At some point, Britons just aren't pop effective, no? Um. No, no, I think, I think they're always going to be... I know what you mean, like, but that's kind of like a BF term, though, like, where you have 200 pop, but, like, um, the other guy's got, like, 40 Persian elephants, and you've got 40 halbs for your military. That's when it's not pop effective, but, no, in Arabia, I think they're always going to be pop effective. Like, longbows and halbs are, are really strong. It's not the best late game combi combination, but when you mix in, like, yeoman towers and werewolf traps, it's, it's good, it's good enough. But yo, these elephant, these elephant archers are putting in work. Look at this guy. They take like two damage a shot. Pretty smart choice from Max. I don't know if it's going to be enough though, because like, Yo is now pushing in with a lot of stone. Uh, and these towers are going to be obnoxious to deal with. And there's no seed for Max. And he's actually uh, repairing this castle, but it's going to go down, I believe. There's two traps on it. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. And it goes down. That's a bad castle to lose. I think this might finally uh, be the GG. Let's take a look at how... Viri's push is going, Arbalest and Elephants. Uh, I believe they're doing quite well actually, but I think Yo uh, Lix might be holding. No, no, Viri's actually pushing everything here. So Viri's doing a good fight there, but he's still in the production, whereas uh, Yo is in the trade. That's the difference here. And Max is saying it's over. He still has good pop, but it's really just been the position all game. And Yo finally pushing in with keeps. Well played though, well played from the Chinese team. I mean, they just they played it consistently. They didn't take any risks. They put a slow push, and they played the macro. They played the macro. Well played. Um, Yo is just an absolute beast of a player though. Well, well done.